Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. Lay back and roll it. And action. Oliver Stone, the director of Platoon and Born on the Fourth of July, now brings to the screen America's most legendary rock band, The Doors. The Doors music, uh, I heard it in Vietnam for the first time when I was a kid, and 19, and it really moved me. It was about things that I cared about. The lyrics were clear, and erotic, and sensuous. Val Kilmer was chosen to play the part of Jim Morrison. The children are insane. Part of what made it easy to play the part actually is he was a brilliant actor. He acted a lot. He didn't want people to know him, and so he presented something which prevented you from get, even getting close. <laughs> What I liked about Val was he has that sense of iron, detached irony that Jim had, where nothing is what it seems, you know, nothing is taken for granted. He was Jim, and he had to be Jim in every way. Bobby Krieger, guitar player. Frank Whaley was very quiet and thoughtful as Robbie. First time Robbie came on the set, Robbie Krieger came on the set, it was very, very distracting, very nerve-wracking. This, this will be good. He's, he's never learned this one. So let's see how long it takes him to learn this. You know, he was very helpful, and he was understood that, you know, I was an actor and not um, a bricklayer. Hey, we're really... Wait a minute. Uh, Raymond Daniel Manzarek, 1-2-12-39 position. Kyle was uh, meditative, logical, uh, controlling as Ray. Sides are being chosen. Everything's gonna flame, man. The planet is screaming for change, Morrison. We gotta make the myths. My concern was in creating this man and making him as believable as possible. John Densmore, percussionist, 22 years old. Don't <laughs> make me smile. My mustache is gonna fall off again. To the drum room. He's actually the best pupil I ever had. I've had a lot of drum students, and he's the best. Just so mentally draining trying to get these these licks all right, because my timing had to be perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, baby. There are all these different layers of sound and the pictures. Val has a wonderful honeyed voice, vocal. He's close to Jim, I'd say. We wanted Val to sing the role so that he would be actually performing it rather than lip singing it, because emotionally that's a very different situation. It's the most complicated uh, visual effect movie I've been involved in. We wanted to give a tone of Increasing hallucination, kind of a dream you walk through. Meg Ryan, who plays Pam, is, was the most important woman in Jim's life. She was a, more of a conventional person in an unconventional time. I think she kind of would have been a better yuppie. <laughs> Oh, and so people cute. are coming, you know? Ray and Dorothy think that we're flaky enough. I'm the poet and you're my muse. First and foremost, Jim Morrison was a poet, not a musician, not a rock star, not a whatever. He was a poet. Jim Morrison, the god of rock. It was so unpredictable, no one knew what Morrison would do. The guys at Network have told us that they have a little problem with the lyric, girl, we couldn't get much higher. 
they ask if you could say instead, girl, we can't get much better. Can you dig that? Girl, we couldn't get much higher. Oh, baby, Try drinking blood. Mr. Morris, we've gone too far. Which man did for act three? Hey, look out. Rex from Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here now, the door. Let's just say I was testing the bounds of reality.